church since January. And uh, I really didn't want to go, honestly. <laughs> My sister kind of forced me into it. Um, but once I started coming, I, I mean, I built relationships with people here. When we first started coming, I, you know, I'm sure everyone knows I was pregnant. And we lost our baby in March. I'm going to start crying now. Um, we were never supposed to come to Georgia, but we did. My sister convinced us to come to Good News. I didn't want to, but I did. And when I did, you know, the baby passed away and it was like, this is where it was supposed to be. Like, if it wasn't for me being here, I don't think that we would have ever, you know, made it through what we've been through and to have the peace that we've had with everything. You know, when we lost the baby, I mean, people came out of We weren't even in the church that long when that happened. And it was just... Two months, maybe. It was amazing to see how many people were there for us. I mean, emotionally, financially, everything. Like, everybody had our back. And that meant the world, the to, world us. to us. And, and it's taught us to do the same for others. It's crazy because I, I used to never, like, pray out loud. Like, it, that was weird to me. Like, I, I couldn't find the right words. I felt like I felt like I wasn't worthy enough to you know, pray out loud, and now I find myself at work, you know, running into people and praying for them and, you know, asking them if they were okay, and I don't know what made me ask them that, but I did, you know, and find out that they are, they're in need, and we sit there and pray together in the middle of my work, and I mean, it was just, I can't, I can't explain it. Scott hasn't been to church in 16 years, you know, and now he comes every Sunday, and he comes with a smile on his face, and you know, knows that the people here care about him. And I think a lot of what our problem was is we blame God for everything that went wrong in our life. Everything we felt like was God's fault because we didn't know him better. I used to be like that a lot. Um, we did go through a lot of rough stuff when we were together and a lot of things when before we even met. And no, she's right. I, I blame God a lot. But then I sat in one of your classes and you're like, no, God's the one Who's the healer and the one that's there for you? There's the enemy. The enemy's out to get you. He's out to make things harder on you. And I was like, that's the simplest thing that explained. Like, why didn't I think of that? Like, God's there. He's helping me. And the enemy and not God is the one who's there lifting us up and supporting us. And, I mean, that was months ago. And that's, every day I think about that. I think about the times, the rough times that we went through. Like, how we barely got by financially or in, a, in our relationship or at work. It's like, oh, we're so lucky, we're so lucky. We're not lucky. You can't have that much luck. I was like, he's there for you, whether you believe it or not. He's always there. And then it took coming here. You know, I was not 16 years out of, the, out of church. I I lost. I was lost. I was lost. Um, I, I like to think that we didn't find the church, the church found us. Like like I said, God just laid the path out and we had no idea that it was happening, but it happened and it was it was just perfect. I seriously don't know where we would be if it wasn't for the church and for and to have the love that we have for Jesus Christ. I mean he he has fulfilled us in ways that we never even knew that he could. And I don't know, we were lost and now we're found.